Ho ho ho, and welcome again to another year of Advent of Cyber here on TriHack Me. Today we are going to check out day number one, the day where we're going to investigate a very interesting glitch all in one converter. It is a website that is supposedly giving some weird results. So we are tasked to investigate this website right here. So if you read through the text, understand what's going on, which I'm gonna skip to make the video shorter as possible. Uh, I started the machine, I've accessed the IP address. I opened the link that they actually do suggest in here as the YouTube video. It's the Rick Ash never gonna give you up, of course. And we are asked to download this particular video from this converter here. So I'm gonna take the link, copy paste it, put it there and convert. Now we are then tasked to download either MP3 or MP4 file. In this, we are going with MP3, so I'm gonna click MP3. It is now converting it to a MP3 file that I can then download, so click download. And we see the downloads that there is a download.zip file and that file we can go ahead and open up in our task manager, whatever I'm gonna call it on Linux. So we're gonna go ahead and right click this particular file, extract it right there, and we're gonna end up with a file called, wherever it is, download, I guess. And then it's a song.mp3. We also got another one called song, song.mp3. So we have two different files. So we are tasked to go ahead and open up a reader here, a normal terminal window. Let's see where we are. We are right there. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. Let's go inside the download folder now. And inside this download folder, we have the two files, the one we just extracted and the other one, which looks kind of weird with the M sum. So the actual converter itself do something more. So let's go ahead and just check out the file type. So song.mt3 is a audio file. That's great. So let's do a file on song. And this is a particular different kind of file. So you need to, first of all, type file and not if le and this is like a window shortcut item it's not mp3 file so there's something different to this so we should go ahead and investigate what's up with this sumk file now through this tutorial we are learning the xf tool which is a tool you can investigate the metadata in the file we are asking to investigate let's clear the screen Right, XF tool and Zomg. There we go. We're even getting some different kind of information right here. Now we're looking at, if I can maybe make this a bit bigger, I cannot. Let's just go with this as it is right now. So what we can see here, this is an XF tool version. The file is Zomg. Directory is dot. That's pretty weird to have a dot there as a directory. We see this is a link, LNK file. So in Windows, that is a shortcut, something you click on and point to something different. So if this is not an MP3 file, but it's a link file, you know, uh, saved behind an extension called MP3, it's gonna go ahead and point to a local base path of this particular, it's a PowerShell. Now, PowerShell in Windows is a very powerful tool you can use in order to execute scripts and so on. The script we're going to execute is not here right now. It's a command line argument, something with bypassing something. And down here below, we can actually read what this is all about. Disable PowerShell user restrictions and so on. And it's gonna go ahead and download a file from this particular URL. And it also seems it's gonna go ahead and execute that file because it is called isps1 and we're then saving it right there to the program data as s.ps1 and then it seems like that we're going to execute that. So it does something. When we click this particular link right here, the song.mp3, we could call it song.mp3, 
but in this case we're learning so we are like ho 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 someone pull our pants down right <laughs> this is the glitch right so that's the glitch all in one converter thing it's a weird thing so people are getting hacked the thing is this is the script it downloads and i'm no powershell expert but in particular i can tell you that it steals some information about if you have bitcoins ethereum monero or doge or dodge coin with a wallet type and it's trying to steal some bitcoins in some way extracting that information and putting it into the stolen info.txt file that's what i actually see so this is an actual issue it's an exploit so behind the line whenever you have some website you are putting your trust to do something on the back end it's making you do some task for you for free you have to be as suspicious about it so down here below it talks about searching the source going to the github repository we can go ahead and copy paste the github repository i think i can open it right now yes i can i'm using the attack box and it does say <coughs> to receive the error below it's because GitHub has a rate limit, but I'm glad to fix this. We can sign in and so on and so on. So we need to answer some questions here down below. And the questions are, I have to read all this. It's like, look at this song, the file is not what we expected. But that is true. It is sumk actually, anyways. So we ran that on sumk.mp3, not song. And who is the author? So we have to go back here and look at the author variable if we can find it maybe we have to do it on the song file song the mp3 file so we can do that so let's go ahead and say clear screen and exif tool song mp3 and mp4 mp3 and then we definitely should get an author somewhere the artist is called tyler ram spay I suspect that is going to be the author, so let's put that in. <clears throat> the malicious PowerShell script sends stolen to a C2 server. What is the URL? So we have to inspect the code in the GitHub repository. Go back to the GitHub repository. <clears throat> to the PowerShell, I think. Uh, if you can see something here somewhere. It's a big, small. Maybe I can zoom in a bit. And there's something right here called HTTP Papa Shell TMH data under the C2 URL. So we have to check out the GitHub repository and paste that in. Also now, who's the MM? Maybe the GitHub profile page would provide clues. So MM is definitely mentioned somewhere. So let's just see if we can find out. MM, it's definitely a name of some thumb, some some dude, I suspect. So let's see if we can find out. Going back, created by MM. Let's see if we can visit the profile uh, mm let's zoom out a bit so we get a full screen normal full screen and see if we can go to the actual profile here mm where will there we go and major malware is the name of the dude so it's about clicking here and there and investigating you know whatever is written it's a readme file this particular case so yeah what is the number of comments on the github page so we are checking out the hint you are right here to find the amount of commits it is actually the place that i'm looking at right now and we're seeing that is like one commit right here so we can also check it out and the number is one we're going to type that in so let's go ahead and complete the task and today we were tasked to investigate this mysterious mp3 converter 
So today we're ending the room with day one. Maybe sock miss music he thought doesn't come from a store, which is the funny title they gave. Tomorrow we're looking at day number two. It's going to be fun. And I really hope you enjoyed today. And as always, I will say ho, 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 ho.